Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. The first fight, the things that are being said, and they really want me to win this fight. So it was pressure, but it was super encouraging too, man. It really was. And I, I felt loved, I felt supported, and it was just a cool feeling, man. It was a cool feeling. Before the stoppage, did you have a sense of where you thought the fight was in terms of the score? I got I got to watch it, but I think I was up like maybe four two. But again, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it depends on how you're seeing it. Some people probably had a three three. Some people may have had him up four two. I don't think he definitely won no four rounds. But when you get a stoppage, man, it don't matter. Right. I could have been down six zero. It don't matter. What do you think of just like I know you're a true professional, but the poor sportsmanship on the podium. It's Kovalev said you were son, son of judges, but it didn't even go to the judges. <laughs> he said that again today. Yeah, he, at the podium he said, he said, oh, son of judges did it or something, but you, I mean, it didn't, it didn't would, go to the judges. I would just, yeah, I know, that was the plan. Like, I would just say this and then I'll just leave it alone. Like, I think for him and his team right now, less is more. The less they say, the better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think that it's just not a good look. It don't, it's no sweat off my back or nothing like that. Like, it's not going to change anything we got going on. I got another question. Just because you were knocked down in the second round, did in this fight, did the second round, did, were you like, man, I gotta be cautious just because the number two? I didn't feel I didn't feel overly cautious or nothing like that. I just was determined, like I'm not touching that canvas. Like, and those are the kind of like that's the mental rep. And you still may touch the canvas, but in my mind, it's like, and it's not a boastful thing, but that's like the self-talk that I go through a camp. Like I'm not touching the canvas. It ain't happening. Like that's just that those are the things you tell yourself when you're prepping and training camp, when you're running up them hills, like I'm not touching the canvas. And it's amazing how the body will respond. You look at Aaron Pryor and Alexis Arguello, he made up his mind, I'm not going nowhere tonight. And some of those shots he got hit with would have crushed many a man. But that night, I'm not going nowhere. When you look talk about Hagler and Hearns, Hearns asked Hagler, how did you stay up? He said, I wasn't going to fall. It's a mentality, man. So I, I didn't want to, I didn't like being down there. I didn't like the look on my family's face in the locker room. I didn't like it, man. I, I don't feel like I should be on that canvas. I don't like being on the canvas at all. I don't do sit-ups on the canvas. I don't bend down and tie my shoe on the canvas. I don't like being on the canvas for no reason. What did you tell Kovalev at the way I just told him he got what he asked for. And I just kept telling him, he got what you asked for. Then he gave his little grin. I said, you can smile all you want. He got what you asked for. That's all I told him. Your defense looked real swift in this one. Was that just something that you, you, you knew that you had to incorporate? I worked on it. You know, I worked on it, man. I had my, my, my bro here, my little bro, Simone. This dude, look at this dude's hands, man. This dude's a huge puncher, man. What the? You should be the DN. Those are DN hands. Now you should play for the Warriors. Hey, what the? <laughs> hey, the boy, the boy can crack, man. And, uh, he's well, wait. Like wait. heavy. Okay. He, he's my top sparring partner in this camp. We had sparring years, man. He, he came through and we got in some great rounds. We do four minute rounds. Sometimes we did 20 minute rounds. You said what? 20 minute rounds, yeah. Where I have guys, Yo, we gotta keep him I have guys come in, like they oh, get five wow. minutes a piece. They come in. We just did, we had a you great. You like a hot in the gym. <laughs> we had a great, uh, I'm going to show you all my sparring right here. I'll show you all this real quick. I appreciate you taking time with us. Right? It's all rocking, good. Real talk. Right? Are you American? We've been rocking with you. We've been rocking with you. You just don't see how my car went this camp. Look. What are we looking at, Drake? So this is this is how I track my sparring the dates. We got nine rounds, eight rounds, six rounds, eight rounds, seven, twelve, four, twelve. Now nah, it's good. It's good. Seven rounds, twenty minutes straight on that day. Eight four minute rounds, which constitution of eleven rounds. Came back, did ten four minute rounds, which was really thirteen rounds. We did 135 rounds of camp. Um, you did 12 rounds a week before the fight. Yeah, Saturday before. Wow. Yeah. So. <laughs> we work, man. We put in the work, man. Congratulations, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you all the time, Greg. Thank you, man. Real talk. You know what it is. What? Let's just keep moving. Keep moving. What you say? What you say? That, uh, no excuses, right? Ain't no ain't, ain't nothing else to talk about. You did. You did what you said. You did. That was a man. There was no threat. I try to tell people, but you know, some people are hard. It's still gonna be hard, and I think that it just comes to the point where you gotta be like, you know, you can't see. Get back to that. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, there's no excuses.
Thank you, brother. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a little flavor. I've lost almost 10 pounds. Thank you, brother. 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 Thank you